Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to opening day 2023 at Fenway Park, America's most beloved ballpark. Today, our Red Sox begin their 123rd season in Boston and their 112th season at Fenway Park, and this rite of spring brings with it not only the hope of warmer weather, but the optimism of a team full of exciting young players, familiar fan favorites, and sensational stars who are joining our club for the first time. Let us begin today's ceremonies by meeting the visiting Baltimore Orioles. First, the Orioles staff, coaches, and reserves. Now the Orioles manager, Brandon Hyde. And his starting lineup. Leading off the center fielder, number 31, Cedric Mullins. Batting second, the catcher, number 35, Adley Rutschman. Batting third, the left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, number six, Ryan Mountcastle. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, number two, Gunner Henderson. Batting sixth, the third baseman, number 29, Ramon Urias. Batting seventh, the right fielder, number 21, Austin Hayes. Batting eighth, number 12, Adam Frazier. Batting ninth, the shortstop, number three, Jorge Mateo. And the starting pitcher, warming up, number 48, Kyle Gibson. And now it's time to welcome your 2023 Boston Red Sox. Home clubhouse manager, Tom McLaughlin. The sports medicine staff. And the bullpen catchers, Charlie Madden and Mani Martinez. Next, we greet the coaching staff. Bench coach, number 60, Ramon Vasquez. First base coach, number 84, Kyle Hudson. Third base coach, number 53, Carlos Febles. Hitting coach, number 62, Peter Fatsy. Assistant hitting coach, number 54, Luis Ortiz. Assistant hitting coach, number 85, Ben Rosenthal. Field coordinator, number 81, Andy Fox. And in the bullpen, pitching coach, number 58, Dave Bush. Bullpen coach, number 51, Kevin Walker. And game plan coordinator, Red Sox Hall of Famer, number 33, Jason Baratek. And now the players. Infielder, number 10, Trevor Story.
Catcher number 12, Connor Wong. Outfielder number 17, Rymel Tapia. Infielder number 20, Yu Chang. Pitcher number 22, Garrett Whitlock. Pitcher number 25, Josh Winkowski. Outfielder number 30, Rob Refsnyder. Pitcher number 35, Richard Blyer. Pitcher number 37, Nick Pavetta. Pitcher number 41, Chris Sale. Pitcher number 46, John Schreiber. Pitcher number 50, Cutter Crawford. Pitcher number 55, Chris Martin. Pitcher number 61, Caleb Ort. Pitcher number 65, James Paxton. Pitcher number 66, Brian Bayo. Pitcher number 70, Ryan Brazier. The closer, welcome to Boston, number 74, Kenley Jansen. Pitcher number 76, Zach Kelly. Pitcher number 89, Tanner Houck. And now our manager, number 13, Alex Cora. And his starting lineup. Leading off the right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Batting second, the third baseman who will remain in Boston for the next decade, number 11, Rafael Devers. <laughs> Batting third, the designated hitter and 2022 Roberto Clemente Award winner, number two, Justin Turner. Batting cleanup, the left fielder and 2023 WBC champion, number seven, Masataka Yoshida. <laughs> Batting fifth, the center fielder, welcome to Boston, number 18, Adam Duvall. Batting sixth, the first baseman, number 36, Tristan Casas. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number 39, Christian Arroyo. Batting eighth, the catcher, number three, Reese McGuire. Batting ninth, the shortstop, number five, Kike Hernandez. And the opening day starter for the Red Sox, warming up, welcome to Boston, two-time Cy Young Award winner, number 28, Corey Kluber. And there they are, your 2023 Boston Red Sox.
Fans, it is now time for our national anthem. The flag today is presented by members of Hanscom Air Force Base and the Vermont Air National Guard, led by Brigadier General James Pavis, Assistant Adjutant General, Land Component Commander for the Vermont Army National Guard. At the conclusion of our national anthem, there will be a flyover of two F-15 and two F-35 fighter jets by members of the 104th Wing, Massachusetts Air National Guard, and the 158th Fighter Wing, Vermont Air National Guard. But before then, we ask that you join us as we remember members of our Red Sox family who passed away since we were last gathered together. And we pause once again to reflect upon the senseless loss of life earlier this week in Nashville and ask that you turn your to your neighbor on your left and your right and commit to each other to work together and take positive action in love, in harmony, and in unity for the sake of humanity, for the sake of our country, and for the sake of our children, both living and lost. Thank you for your promise of a better future. Now to perform our national anthem, please welcome back our friend and award-winning artist from Springfield, Massachusetts, Michelle Brooks Thompson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watch were so gallant and streaming out of the rocket's bright light. Thank you. Fans, it is now time for our ceremonial first pitch. Today's honorees exemplify what it means to be an ambassador of Boston. 
For years, their heroics on the ice, the court, the gridiron, and the diamond have captivated the imagination of sports fans around the world, but it is their commitment to our communities that makes them revered representatives of our city. As homegrown heroes and adopted sons, their love for Boston is captured in their dedication to supporting our hospitals, coaching our children, and uplifting our spirits in times of tragedy. Whenever we need them, they are there, and we couldn't be prouder to have these individuals with us here today. Boston, won't you please welcome New England Patriot, Devin McCourty, Boston Bruin, Sean Thornton, Boston Celtic, Dana Barros, and Boston Red Sox legend, David Ortiz. And finally, here to deliver the two words we all love to hear in partnership with our friends at Nike, we welcome Governor Mara Healy. Just stuck in rhythm. 